assalamu alaikum students this is farwa batool your o level computer science instructor and in this video we are going to talk about topic 7.2.1 that is computer system and its subsystem yes i'm going to tell you the whole computer system and its subsystem in detail using a top down design so before starting it let's talk about what is a top down design i'm just sharing the definition of it so that you can understand Okay, so here we go. A top-down design is a decomposition of a computer system into a set of subsystems, then breaking each subsystem down into a set of smaller subsystems until each subsystem just performs a single action. This is very, very important. It means that you are breaking down a big subsystem into a smaller subsystems, into more smaller subsystems, so that the division is done in such a way that the smallest subsystem will be performing a single task. Now, let's use a top-down design in order to understand a computer system and its subsystems. Okay, so in the previous video, I have already told you about the subsystems in a computer system. We had five subsystems that makes up a computer system. Let's talk about this. I'm making a top-down design here. The very first at the top would be a computer system. And now we will be decomposing this big computer system into its smaller subsystems. So the very first is your software. Then it is hardware, or you can say data. The third one is the hardware. Then we have communication and finally the fifth component would be people so this is basically level one this is the first level of decomposition now let's divide the subsystems in into further smaller subsystems so if i talk about softwares then i can have an application software an application software can be a word processing software it can be a it can be anything, a dictionary, um, an alarm app, or whatever, the applications that you use in, a, in your computer. Then we have an system software. System software can be your operating systems, your drivers, and so on. Okay, so the second thing is the data. Data can be of three types. It can be taken as an input from user, it can be a data that is stored in your computer or it can be a data that is used to output that you show on your screen, the output data. Similarly goes for hardware. In the hardware, you can have input devices that helps to take the data from a user. Then you have output devices that shows the data on your screen. Then you can have the storage devices like your hard drive like usb and so on and the third thing is fourth thing is your processor cpu the central processing unit that helps to process the data this is how hardware can be further divided into subsystems then we talk about communication in the communication we need three things a transmitter that helps to transmit the data. Then you need a medium where you can transmit the data. And the third thing is your receiver. There must be a receiver that receives the data. And then finally, the user, the subsystem user can be divided into two. It can be a developer that builds up a computer system, and it can be a user that uses a computer system. So this is level two. Here you can easily see that how we have divided a computer system into subsystems and into more subsystems so that we, a single subsystem, the smallest subsystem is just going to perform a single task. So this is all about the top-down design that helps you to understand a computer system and a subsystem. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to see that how we can decompose a problem 
into its modules into sub problems or into sub problems so that we can solve it in a better way thank you so much stay tuned stay connected have a nice day